Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we are going to do a first impression video on a foundation that cleans a lot and I don't know what to I don't know what to believe if this is gonna be true this is gonna be an amazing amazing find but if it's not then I'm gonna be very disappointed <laughs> so the foundation that we're gonna review today it is bare minerals liquid mineral foundation with a brass spec from SPF 20 um, this foundation just came on the 26th of December in Ulta store I went and purchased it myself I paid $35 on it and it claims a lot so these are the claims. Light as hair liquid foundation with a boosted mineral formula, blurs and perfection, leaves skin looking natural airbrush, and reduces the look of pores and redness over time. Medium buildable coverage. Uh, formula it's made with just 19 clean ingredients and when it comes to healthy looking skin less does more also is paraben free felted free formidial free chemical sunscreen free trickle sand free trickle carbon free propylene glycol free mineral oil free coal tar free micro bead free synthetic fragrance free which we like talc free gluten free gluten free and vegan so this is everything that this foundation is promising i got mine in medium 10 18. we're gonna try it today and we're also gonna do a wear test and see how this foundation is gonna stay on my oily skin i already prepped my face let me put this hair back right here and i do have my uh sponge ready right here so I'm ready I'm ready to go <laughs> I'm so excited about this I really hope this is gonna be a really amazing foundation this is all I have to say I really hope so uh, what I tried before from um, from these from this brand from bare minerals was always very sheer looking things and uh, I wasn't always a fan of it by the way uh, for my primer I used this one from VDL Lumi Layer Primer. I only have a few, a little bit in there, and this is actually in my project pen. If you knew, if you haven't watched that video, I'm gonna put it right up here so you can go and watch it. Yes, this year we're gonna do a project pen. I mean, in 2021 we're gonna do a project pen. But are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. Let's open this up. Like I said, medium 1018. That's the shade I picked up. This is how this looks like I haven't even took it out to look at it okay it has one of these things it says twist open aha uh -huh, there you go and I'm gonna go should we go light oh god hopefully this is the right color okay so this is how much I have on my hand right now and I'm just gonna go this area is it does feel really light right now <laughs> but we'll see how it's gonna go feels more like mousse like it's not as liquidy as other foundation Alright, so we're gonna go in with um, Beauty Blender. I really need to buy a new of these because it's not clearing up as good as it used to and I really, really like this uh, Beauty Blender and I don't know if I'm ready to spend another 20 bucks on this, so we'll see. <laughs> all right so i think the color match is actually a pretty good one and to be honest it doesn't feel like anything on my face it feels like a moisturizer literally that's how it feels like okay and i do see some coverage over here so i'm i'm, I'm super surprised about this one okay okay Oh wow, it does look really good, you guys. 
I don't have a mirror very close, but let me let me grab one actually. Just to make sure. Okay, so it's definitely medium coverage, but damn, I was not expecting, not even that, because you know how a lot of these companies promised medium coverage, and actually, it's actually very sheer coverage, or very little. This is a nice foundation. It definitely looks like my skin. Like the more I blend it in, the more it looks like my skin. And this color is definitely my uh this is the perfect perfect color for my skin tone. I never match myself this good before, so give me a second. Up. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is how it looks like right now. It looks very light. It's very lightweight. Like I said, I don't feel anything. I only feel like I have a moisturizer on my skin. Um, it is medium coverage. I would go light to medium coverage, right? I would uh, actually prefer to go over a little bit more for a little bit more coverage. But this is how it looks. It's pretty dewy right now i mean it doesn't look too bad it looks like it's your natural skin like just improve the improve the color even up the color and also kind of covered up a little bit of those pores but yeah so far so good i'm gonna i'm just gonna add a little bit more i'm gonna add just this much more very very little and I'm only gonna cover the areas that um, I have problems with, so I'm just gonna go a little bit more on this areas. There we go. So are you guys having plans for New Year's? Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me know what you guys are gonna do. Uh, probably I'm gonna just uh, make a bunch of dishes because I want to cook some Romanian dishes for New Year's, and we're probably gonna watch a movie and go to sleep. You know, have some wine. <laughs> oh God, what a year this has been. Okay, this is how it looks now. It does offer you a little bit more coverage, which is nice. But yeah, it's pretty dewy. Not too bad, this foundation. I have to say, for now, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Knowing how Bare Minerals is, <laughs> giving you this much coverage is whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay? So, I'm going to go in with my... Uh, normal things, things that I have in my shop, my stash to finish up my um, makeup and then I'll be right back to show you how everything looks like. Alright you guys, so this is how the finished look it is. This is how my makeup is looking like today. I have to say, there's some things that this foundation does that I'm like very amazed <laughs> okay it does look really nice and it's still very skin like like it looks like you ha don't have a lot of foundation on your skin especially if you look over here but i'm very glowy too so especially if you look over here you can totally see a, a bunch of things coming through and um i added my all my other stuff on top really nice it looks really beautiful glowy 
very natural looking i added powder but i didn't put too much powder because i wanted to have a little bit of that luminosity and just kind of embrace this more of a medium skin skin like type of um, look and this is how it looks right now it is very beautiful right now um it's surprising because it just kind of it covers but it doesn't covers it's it's interesting it's definitely an interesting foundation now let's look at the claims what if if some of these claims are true so far uh light, light as air yes um blurs imperfections yes it does it does blur imperfections uh you still can see them but it does it blurs imperfections live skin looking natural airbrush yes it does it does that too um now reduces the look of pores and redness over time i don't know that one probably you have to wear it a bunch of times to deal with that and it's medium buildable coverage um, and that is correct so far everything looks really nice everything looks really great now is this makeup gonna last on my oily skin that is the big question of the day so I'm gonna come back in a few hours to check on with to check with you and kind of show you the progress overall during the day but so far I'm loving it so far it's so good I like it all right I will see you in a few hours well for you it's gonna be just a minute but yeah all right guys so we are back for the check-in I had this foundation on my face for like four and a half hours right now and this is how it looks like I mean it looks almost exactly the same it looked um, when I finished putting it on the only thing because I was looking at it a little bit earlier let me check it again the only thing that I would say it's that because I did a there's a little bit of separation around here and around here um, but other than that everything looks exactly the same um, let me add a little bit of lipstick actually because I do want to use up there you go for my project pan better now but yeah just a little bit it's not much as you can see it's not much but it looks really nice I am impressed right now I'm I'm pretty impressed with this foundation I would have to say ugh, look at that my uh mascara yeah the one in the bottom well it is what it is but anyway what I was trying to say is that I'm impressed with this foundation I really thought this is not gonna be good or is not gonna be living up to its claims but so far it's absolutely insane I cannot believe this foundation looks the way it looks right now and it's still staying on my face and it looks I'm still okay with the way it looks especially when I'm like that person that loves to have full coverage foundation and things like that it's nice because it blurs a bunch of my imperfections but you still can see like it's not like you can't see because you can see all my you know shit around my, my mouth over here um but it's just it makes it in a way that it looks beautiful i guess is that weird does it sound weird i don't know but that's how i feel about it right now and uh yeah my makeup my makeup is not the greatest today uh my eyes this eye has just been has been uh really annoying today it's just kind of like not not good i keep i'm watering from this eye all freaking day i don't know why but yeah so far loving this loving this foundation i want to see you in a few hours 
all right guys so this is the last um the last checking because i had this on my face enough to be able to tell you my opinion about it and as you can see it does have a little bit my oils started to show up a little bit more than from our last checking and i actually noticed around like the fifth sixth hour um by the way this is the eighth hour around eight eight hours it's been um i started to see that around my nose the oils are showing up way more and also it's starting to separate uh around my lips it started to separate too but the most is in this area right here and around my nose other than that it's still pretty good yeah i do have a little bit of shine here and there um but it's not too bad and i can make this foundation work i have not applied too much powder today i have uh kept um i have utilized a primer that is a more of a like this primer is more of a hydrating primer so i know if i'm gonna do a pore filling one and add a little bit more powder i can make this work now here's the thing i haven't done much today right i did cook i ate but i didn't do anything like very physical activity i clean up just a little bit but not much so the thing is like just around the house and let's say if you're going out there and doing some um, running some errands and stuff like that that will be okay but this for a work day for an eight-hour shift I don't think I would recommend it you know what I mean um, it is a really beautiful natural looking uh, foundation you don't feel it on your face at all you don't have that feeling that you want to wash up your face which is great and I absolutely love that, that. Um, I do love that it has a lot of natural ingredients in it that is gonna help your skin finger cross um, but yeah it's definitely you need to set your face with a lot of powder to make sure this foundation is going to stay in place. But I'm surprised it looks this good after 8 hours. I had foundations that look way worse after the 8 hour mark. So for this to look like this, knowing how um, their brand is, it is pretty insane to be honest with you pretty insane have you guys ever had this type of uh, chocolate no this is a banana chocolate mm -hmm. <laughs> I absolutely love these mm. 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 I'm gonna try them mm. Mm, so good it's called Kasawi they're German ones so good go to your local deli store so good um, this is all I have for today. This is all my what I gathered from this foundation. I'm very surprised that I was able to match my skin tone so well. It's incredible. So first. But um yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time with another video. Bye. Ooh, so good.